My name is Dr. Timothy O'Donnell. I am the president here at Christendom College in Front Royal, Virginia. Christendom College's motto is Instaurare Omnia in Christo, to restore all things in Christ. And we do that specifically through our mission of a Catholic liberal arts education. And ultimately the fruit of that education is to affect every single facet of life, home life, married life, spiritual life, life of festivity, everything, like St. Paul says, whether you eat, drink, or whatever you do, do all in the name of Christ. And this chapel will embody that in a very concrete, special way. The chapel is really important in an academic community because if you're gonna have a community that's really gonna be tied together, there has to be that spiritual dimension. It is the holy sacrifice of the mass that would brings us together. And we even have that expressed in a very concrete way in our great Western Rose window. It's a collegial window because we have Our Lady as Sedis Sapiencia, Our Lady as the Seat of Wisdom, sitting in the center, but she's surrounded by seven angels, all of them holding symbols of the seven liberal arts. And all of those liberal arts, although worthy of study in and of themselves, all of them are directed ultimately to theological wisdom. Theology is the queen of the sciences, and that's why having at the center, surrounded by these seven angels, Our Lady as the seat of wisdom, holding wisdom incarnate on her lap, will be a powerful reminder to all of our students here of the beauty and the nobility of what they are studying. We've really lost uh, so much of the presence of Christ in our culture. Uh, there's a type of Christophobia that's out there that even bringing up his name is sort of something you're not supposed to do. And here we have the Lord, the Savior, the Redeemer of the entire world, whose cosmic sacrifice healed our brokenness. And we can't even speak about him. We can't even speak his name. And as a result of that, the abandonment of Christ, the loss of a Christian ethos, is now we don't even know what it means to be human. when COVID hit and there was a lot of depression, a lot of isolation, people came together and the construction on this chapel was never stopped, ever. And so the idea that we could build something that would glorify God, it would be dedicated to His majesty, His glory, and boldly proclaim the kingship of Christ. Because as you look at a lot of the social chaos and the confusion we're going through now, there is only one answer to that, and that is the kingship of Jesus Christ. Until we come back to Christ and accept his sovereignty and the beauty and the power and the veracity of his teaching, there is gonna be no solution to this crisis that we're facing in our world, in our culture. And this church is a great roadmap, I think, to show us the way back and the way forward. Everything from the spires on the outside to the Gothic crossing tower, the shape of the windows, all the arches, everything is pointing us to heaven. Uh, so much in our life is horizontal, it's banal, it's frivolous. And when you enter into a Catholic church, especially the Gothic, everything communicates the transcendent. And so we're raised up, up out of ourselves. And so like the clear story windows will be filled with saints and images of the great triumph of our church. And you really judge the church by the saints it produced. And we have produced, thanks be to God, although we're all sinners, but we have produced many, many saints who have cooperated with grace, accepting the teaching of the church and living a vibrant sacramental life. But everything points up in the Gothic towards our heavenly homeland. That's where we're all headed. The Gothic Crossing Tower is almost 11 stories tall. You can see it from 66. At Christmas, we put a beautiful star of the nativity and countless people have driven by. It's raised their mind to Christ. I mean, they want to put him away that we don't speak about him or talk about him. You can't but speak about him. 
And I think one of the best ways we can reach people, certainly we have to communicate the truth. Dostoevsky once said that the world will be saved by beauty. And I think it's true. Beauty remains so compelling. And when beauty intersects with truth, which it always does, then there's a great opportunity for communicating on a deeper level the ultimate meaning, the transcendent meaning to which all of us are going. It's the goal of our life is really God and encountering God through Jesus Christ. And this building will enable us to do that. I hope that visitors will encounter beauty. I want them to encounter Christ in the Blessed Sacrament, in the beautiful life of His mother, in the lives of all the great saints that will be surrounded, that they'll feel the richness of their patrimony, rediscover that patrimony and recognize this is an incredible heritage. And whether you're Catholic or not, you're going to come in and you're going to realize someone died for you and left you an incredible inheritance. And all you have to say is, come Lord Jesus, I want what you're giving me. Thank you.